<laughs> How you going, old suit? I tell you what, uh, mate. Very, bit, how mate, good are these beanies? Yeah, yeah, mate, comfortable. <laughs> very, very flash this year. Ever. Unbelievable. Yeah. Flash yeah. was saying he went to the warehouse. You've been, yeah, you've improved the uh, <laughs> design. The design, yeah, the texture, they're really good. A bit warmer. Yeah. Very, very well good. Well done, <laughs> Unbelievable. I feel like Snoop Dogg. Uh, <laughs> mate, Husey, firstly, most, most importantly, yourself. How's the health, mate? Yeah, Matty, going really great, thanks. Uh, every, every four months I have scans. Yeah. Um, you know, brain cancer is a tough... Tough opponent, um, you know. It's uh, it, it's a, for people 40 years and under, it kills more than any other cancer. So it's a, it's a really tough disease. Uh, but I'm feeling great, uh, feeling very grateful, and um, you know, doing really well. So great. can't wait for this week. Fantastic. Yeah. So round 19 is beanies for brain cancer um, round, and all the money that's raised goes straight to the Mark Hughes Foundation. Mark, one person every five hours is diagnosed in Australia with brain cancer. What events are happening this week? How can people get involved to support such a great cause? Yeah, well, the big thing is to come to all the games. Uh, every club's right behind it, so there'll be uh, limited beanies for sale at the ground. Uh, people can buy a beanie. Um, get on the Mark Hughes Foundation website. We've got uh, selected lows. Uh, we've got IGAs. Uh, you get on the market, so just get on the Mark Hughes Foundation website and check it all out. Um, yeah. You know, there's the beautiful pink one as well, so yeah, yeah a must have. Hey, Booz, what's the target? How many do you want to sell? What's, what's our target? Uh, well, we, we're hoping to, to raise uh, $3 million over, the, over this next week. So Which would equate to how many of these? Uh, divided by 25. So. Yeah. I can't do that. <laughs> hey, Booz, when you, when, you started, yeah. when you started this, did you think it would grow as big as it has? Because people are right behind it. You see the beanies yeah. in the streets and out the mm. It's fantastic. Yeah, it was just an idea um, we had about six years ago. Um, but, but Matt Callender, a Channel 9 executive, uh, really boosted what we were doing. And the NRL jumped on board. And this is our third NRL beanie round. And it's been a game changer. We've raised about $5 million over the last two years, yeah. which has accelerated um, all our research and really helped us push along. Because we're in a hurry for the answers. You know, we need them. Mm -hmm. I need them. So many people in the community need them. Yeah. Husey, one of the things you do at the end of every year, and I was part of the one a couple of years ago, Everest Base Camp. Uh, last year, you guys did... Uh Borneo, you, went to you did Borneo. Borneo. Now, yeah. this year, you're doing Kilimanjaro. Yeah, we're going over to Africa in October, so we're really excited about that. Mm. Um, two leaders we've got in the... We're going to have Danny Badiris leading the way and Trent Robinson, the Roosters wow. coach, put his hand up. And that, that sort of, that's what the rugby league community is yeah. like at the moment. So people can get involved? They can bid we've still got a couple of seats, actually, if uh, anyone feels like a bit of a, a, bit of a stroll. Uh, it's a tough <laughs> one. It's a really tough one. But, uh, yeah, um, we're looking yeah. for a couple more, and we'll have 20-odd people... Um, It'll be tough, we'll raise money, and um, it'll be a life-changing experience. Well, of course you're on here, Hughes, here, I thought. Let's have a look at the top three Mark Hughes career moments. Wow. Let's start <laughs> off uh, firstly. Now, 1997 was your first year as a first grader, yeah. and of course... How old were you here, uh, Dare I say, how much did you weigh? Because you're, you're, like, you're built like a yard of pump water. <laughs> I was 20. Give me the ball, Joey. <laughs> Give me the ball. Yeah, that was a funny one, that one. Joey, Matty wanted on the inside for the one point. I went down the short side and I, Joey, come to the short side. come. And he'd come down and then he's teasing me with the ball. <laughs> Teasing, teasing. Hey, I, said, I only had Spud Carroll coming. <laughs> it would have worked. Hey, you know, did you celebrate much after that game? I was inconsolable. So I wasn't... <laughs> um, the funny thing was, the day of the game, I, I, I went to the Crown Plaza, Coogee, woke up, I, I, I tap danced my way down to the breakfast table. Everyone's in the room. There's a table with the newspaper, and I start walking over, everyone's laughing at me. So they throw the two-page spread out, and here it was, lift out on each player. So Robbie O'Davis, amazing under the high ball. Darren Albert, fastest man in rugby league. Matt John's best kicking game. Andrew John's best passing game. Mark Hughes, shoulders like a brown snake. <laughs> Well, you had some sort of career. One hell of a brown snake. Because you did it. I'd say stung. <laughs> you did it again in 2001. Yeah. Uh, 2001 yeah. versus Parramatta. But who could forget the first half? Yeah. Parramatta were big favourites, but uh, incredible first half of football. Yeah, amazing, Matty. Um, yeah, Billy Peden, two tries. How good was that? Steve Simpson on the edge. Our forwards really dominated. And... Um, Andrew Johns, of course, steering the ship. Big Steve Simpson there. And, yeah, that was amazing to be a part of that. Uh, yeah, it was, it was unbelievable. 2001. 2000, Matty, we felt like we were a real chance, didn't we? And yeah. just didn't make it. And 01, we got there. So that was, that was so special. Yeah. Mate, not only did you win two comps, but you, you played Origin. Now, I shouldn't give people uh, tips on how to prolong your Origin career, but <laughs> this is probably one thing I wouldn't do if I walked into just <laughs> hang out with this guy. <laughs> Because of that, because you hang out with Fletch, this is what you get from Gordy um, coming in here. Uh, after Fletch did the hand grenade the game before. Yeah. Uh, but 
the he played, his three, he played three games in 2001. Yes, yeah, 2001, guy. played three games. Very proud to do that. <laughs> I, um, it was tough to see and still, uh, I still at the moment get a bit emotional about it. But after that series, I made the gut-wrenching decision to retire from rugby. <laughs> It was too early. <laughs> I should have kept going, but I wanted to focus on club and let Joey chase jerseys. Well, <laughs> as you know, it's all about Joey. Yeah. Uh, Husey, yeah. all the best for yeah. Ben. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you, Hannah. Great.